beautiful people. Welcome back to the Bell Gang. <gasps> Let's just say I've been gone, right? But I started recording again and I'm just so sorry to tell you that I've been slacking, but I had some major life changes. And so I was just getting, I was transitioning to that part of my life and so I was a little tired to be honest and I wanted to take that pause but now I am back and I'm ready to just go 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 and YouTube is hard guys it's hard okay it's hard but I love doing this I love sitting in front of the camera and talking to you guys looking like a crazy person so <laughs> I don't mind it it's just it gets tiring when you have a lot of different things happening in your life um so I'm just happy to be back and if you're new to this channel um, welcome join us and i love you friends and on this channel we're going to have spirituality faith-based um content lifestyle beauty name it i'm multifaceted so i love just tapping into different things and i know you know this is not the world of social media they tell you to niche down niche down niche down but just know that you'll be getting consistent videos of different things that i'm feeling in the moment okay mostly a lot of faith faith-based content but from time to time i'll be sharing some lifestyle and some vlogs and some <laughs> beauty um things that i enjoy doing and all and if you are interested in any of those stuff and just want to keep up with bell then go ahead and subscribe and also share this channel with a friend you think might want to keep up with me okay <laughs> all right uh today guys i'm gonna show you how i actually wax my eyebrow you want to save some coins you want to save some coins well this video is for you because I personally was very picky about my eyebrows. I used to go to this lady and she literally jacked up my eyebrows and I never went back. Um, but then I recently found someone that was like 30 minutes away from my house that really did a good job. But sometimes I did not want to drive the 30 minutes. I did not want to do the 30 minutes drive to get those eyebrows done. So I decided to just take a quick trip to YouTube, you guessed it. I found out how I can just do it myself. And to be honest, I'm gonna shout her out. Like this lady's um, video really helped me a lot. I think it was Ami Desay. Ami Desay. Ami Desay actually helped me a lot. Um, shout out to Ami Desay for her video that obviously had a million something views. And I learned from her basically how to basically wax my not wax, but thread my eyebrow, okay, by myself, guys. I thought it would be harder, but the first time it was a little harder, but this is some skills that needs a lot of practice, just like any skills, right? So I've been doing this for about three, four, five, six, seven months now. So I got pretty good. Honestly, the first day I started doing it, it was it was great. I actually have a video of me doing it in the first attempt. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find that footage and show you, but this is after several trials now that I'm actually shooting this video, but hopefully you enjoy it and you kind of like follow along on how I actually did it. And I hope you actually go ahead and save some coins. I will tell you the first, the reason, the three reasons why you should try to do these things yourself. First, obviously the obvious, you're going to save money. I paid $10 to do my eyebrows, $10 to get them threaded. So that's basically $10 every month that I usually do it or every two weeks usually. You know, that's that's a lot of money you could be saving. I mean, those dollars add up, okay? And second of all, I feel like you trust yourself. So you if you F up your eyebrows, then it's on you, right? You don't have to blame someone else for it. But if you get it down pack and you get your skills very good, then you can pretty much say, hey, I did my eyebrows, you know, this is great. <laughs> And another thing is if you want to just stay home and not really be exposed to everybody and you're just like me, an introverted, extroverted person, I'm an invert, guys. So I'm both. Sometimes I need my space and sometimes I want to interact and recharge. Um, but I really think I recharge when I'm home. So more of an introverted person than an extroverted person. I don't know how to describe me sometimes. But anyway, yeah, if you just want to be home and don't want to go over there and socialize with people, then... That's another benefit. You'll be home and doing your own eyebrows. But with that being said, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video and just keep following along and go ahead and subscribe and like and share. Thank you. Hey, 
guys, so I'm going to now show you how I remove all of these hair off of my eyebrows, uh, my sideburns, and my chin. So practically my entire face. It's gonna be a very easy process. To start, you're going to need the vanity thread. So I got this thread from Amazon. It costs $4.99 on Amazon and it was recommended by the YouTuber I mentioned earlier in the video. Um, it is supposed to be very strong and soft at the same time. I really like using it. Then you're going to need a loose powder. I'm losing the Aspong loose powder. You can use any. Then you're going to need a white liner. I'm using the Jumbo from NYX. Um, and now to get ready, I'm going to just put my hair to the side and I'm just going to get my eyebrows ready. Um, you can use any brush to brush them up. I'm just gonna grab my little eyebrow pencil brush and then I'm going to brush them up and get them ready before I line them up. All right, I look confused, but now we're gonna take about a foot of the thread. So you wanna take about a foot long of the thread and you're going to cut it up. And this is probably longer than a foot but I found it very helpful to get a long enough amount. So this is a foot long. And so now you're gonna cut it up. You don't really need a scissors, but now let's go ahead and create the knot at the end. You're going to grab the end and you're going to just twirl it around your fingers and create the knot. If you are a, if you know how to sew, I would say this should be a very easy process for you, but I'm gonna do that about three times. That way I can secure the knot and make sure that it doesn't, you know, come out. All right, so after doing that, now let's get ready to um, create the scissor like. So as you can see, what I'm doing right now is I'm going to double it. Um, she didn't double it in her video, but I find it very helpful for me so I can create a stronger thread and it can really, really grab into my hair because my hair is really thick. So I need it to be strong. So now you're going to hold them across just like that. And your dominant hand, you're going to twist it and twirl it about three times. As you can see, I'm doing it multiple times because I want to make sure that it's good. I think I did it about four times. And now it's creating this Caesar, the scissor looking I don't know if you can see, okay, I'm coming closer. It's creating that Caesar motion and that's what you want. And you're going to do this against your hair that way it can pull it. So now you wanna make sure that you are twirling it at least three times so that you can have the, um, the, the strong grip of it and the scissor um, effect. So let's get started. Now we're going to go against the hair and as I am doing the scissor effect. Um, it's going to pull the hair um, away. And so it's going to take a minute before you can get it. I may look like a natural right now, but honestly, it took me a couple of tries before I get the hang of it. So just be patient with yourself and just keep practicing. I did this about like two times before I can get it right. And so as I'm doing that, just make sure to always try to get yourself more comfortable um, with the thread as you hold it that way you can get a better grip and it is hurting that's why I'm making those faces so um, some people choose to use oral gel in order for them to not feel the pain as much but for me I don't think that I needed it because I'm able to tolerate the pain um, and also I think this is the most cost-effective way that I could have you know thread my face my entire face um so that's why i didn't get the oral gel but other than that i feel like if you need it to help you then by all means go ahead and get it okay let's do this one more time you're going to put the thread against your face and you're going to put it against the hair that you want to pull and now you're going to open up that dominant hand and push it upward against the hair and you should be able to get it don't be afraid to pull every single strand of hair that you see okay that way you can get it all out um after that just make sure you go ahead and fill your face so that you can make sure you took all of the hair out i'm gonna show you a close-up of this but be prepared because i'm about to hurt myself in a couple of seconds keep watching oh Oh. 
oh my gosh look at that hair i got it out i got it out it hurt but it's all off and my my face feels pretty soft i love it so i'm gonna get ready to do the other side oh it feels so soft so let's go ahead and try to do this next side and this summer I'm gonna put the powder on so that if you're having trouble gripping the hair you want to put some dry obviously something drying so that way it's easier to grab the hair I've done this multiple times and I find it to work for me I don't know if it makes sense for other people but if your face is oily then it might be hard for you to grab on the hair so I put the powder that way the thread can grab onto the hair a lot easier also remember um, the thread can get pretty old so you want to also get a new one or in this instance I'm going to create some type of new one but really just using the same one I'm just gonna um, switch sides that way it can be fresh again and I can get the same sharpness that I was getting from the new thread um, so I'm going to do the same thing again I did the 12 about four times and now we're going against the hair same thing same motion if you're a um, lefty you might want to do this with your left hand it's gonna be a lot easier for you for um, that side of your face but I'm ambidextrous, so I'm able to do um, both intertwine between my left and my right. So go ahead and get all the hair out until you don't feel any more hair. Let's move on to the chin. Lord, that's such a disaster. And I feel for all of us women who has hair underneath there. Now let's go ahead and move on with the eyebrows. You can go ahead and throw that one away. Now let's get a new thread and we're going to line up the eyebrows and the reason why I'm lining up my eyebrows is because it actually allow me to feel or see the shape that I want to give my eyebrows okay so as I'm threading having those um, my, my eyebrows lined up like this it allows me to kind of like go into the motion and take on the shape of my eyebrows or the shape that I, I want my eyebrows to have okay so be very careful on how you shape it because if you do that a poorly job which I don't think I did a, the best job but it, it just a good good enough job going through the same motion again and we're gonna create the knot and I'm going to twirl it again and let's go ahead and listen to the scissor motion now let's get started all right now you see how my eyebrows look you want to be very very careful you want to be very careful because you do not want to get this wrong this may break or make you okay you don't want to walk around at work looking like a lost and a zombie so i'm gonna start with this um, side of my face or my right eyebrow because it's gonna make it easier for me to go against the hair okay alrighty let's go ahead and go against the hair Right now, as you can see, I'm pushing the hair down. That way I can get um, excess hair. Um, just make sure you're very careful. Like I mentioned earlier, you want to be very strategic and try to take it lower than where your eyebrows actually are. You don't want to be too close to the eyebrow because that is set up for disaster. You want to take it like maybe very top like very at the edge of the top of the eyebrows and at the very edge of the bottom not too close up to the eyebrows because if you pull the wrong hair next thing you know you have this big bald spot <laughs> on your eyebrows okay so be very 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 careful with that i cannot stress that enough 
And now that I completed that, I feel like it's good. Let's move on to the left side of the eyebrows. Because I'm also able to go um, comfortably with my left hand, I am going to, um, to do the upward motion against my eyebrows. Um, as you can see, I am not too close to the eyebrows, like I mentioned. Make sure that you are not too close to the edge. Normally, when you go to the salon, you are able to do this so that way your um, threader can be able to grab on the hair, I guess. But when you're doing it by yourself, you're unable to do that. So just be very careful so that way you don't grab the wrong hair. <laughs> okay. All right. And let's go ahead and do that same upward motion. And just basically, you want to just clean the eyebrows, not take it all out or take it all off okay it's the opposite of just your chin hair and your sideburns you just want to clean the eyebrows not shave it all off All right, now we're gonna go wash this off and I'll be right back. And I'm back, I did it, I did it. So now that I clean my face off, some people use aloe vera gel, I did not use that. Like I said, this is a cost effective way of threading your eyebrows or your entire face. Um, so I didn't get the oral gel, but I, I, I just washed my face and that's it, that's, that's about it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my upper lips now gonna be the same thing it's gonna hurt a little bit like I said if you want to use the oral gel go ahead and use that to kind of help with the pain but I didn't use it and once you do this a couple of times you should really get the hang of it so just keep practicing until you get better and that's about it guys I just clean off my eyebrows a little and that's it thank you Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this um, tutorial on how to thread your eyebrows by yourself, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment if you've already tried this at home, if you're going to try it, or if you're going to keep going to the salon. Yeah, if, if that's your choice too, you can you can also tell me, I don't mind. When, when it comes to self care, you might just want somebody to cater to you instead of you doing it yourself. So, hey. That works for me too. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Bye.